Hello my Disney friends. In today's video, there are three continents united. Which these are, and what TIFF and MIF means, and what this little purple beer has to do with it. You will find out soon. This is Bobby. Bobby is living with us since six months. Kim, a viewer of our channel from Australia, more precisely from Tasmania, sent it to us. Kim has a lavender farm and that explains the purple color of Bobby, who eats a lot of lavender. You are probably wondering what this has to do with the today's video. Whenever I think of Australia, I think of a trip I made with friends to the Yarra Valley and the Blue Mountains near Melbourne. And just like in the motherland England, there you have our afternoon tea at 4 pm. Like also in the Disneyland Hotel in Paris, or in the Rose and Crown Pub in Epcot. According to legend, a lady in waiting for Queen Victoria, the Duchess of Bedford, invented the afternoon tea. Between lunch and dinner, she was always so hungry that she had bread, butter and tea served in her drawing room at around 4 p.m. She often invited friends for that, and this practice soon spread throughout the whole kingdom. Many variations of this tea ceremony developed. In addition to afternoon tea, there is also low tea, high tea, cream tea and royal tea. The cream tea is a simple version of the afternoon tea. Only scones are served here. At royal tea, champagne is also served with the afternoon tea. High tea has a richer meal and it is served in the evening. High tea originated in northern England in the 19th century. Working class families came home hungry after work and then they combined tea time and dinner and served cold meat, bread, butter, cheese and pies with it. High tea and working class families, well, how does it fit together? Many of you probably thought that high tea and high society had to do something with each other. The explanation is however a different one. High tea comes from the fact that this tea is always served in the evening at the dining table. High, in opposite to low tea, which is usually served at salon tables. Low. Which tea do you drink this afternoon tea? There are quite a few types of tea in the empire, but traditionally you drink black tea with it, like for example the Earl Grey. And how do you drink your tea now? Are you more a myth or a tiff type? For centuries there has been a conflict in the empire about whether milk comes into the cup first, milk in first myth, or the tea, tea in first, tiff. I am more a tiff guy. Sugar is not so problematic, you just add it. But we don't want to go too much into the detail today. We concentrate on classic afternoon tea and what you need for it, if you want to make it at home. At afternoon tea, three courses are usually served on a tiered serving plate. Sandwiches in the first course, followed by scones with clotted cream and jam. In the third course, there are small cakes, fruits or other sweets. I will start with the scones. We need the following ingredients. 3 cups of 400 grams flour, 3 teaspoons of baking powder, 4 tablespoons of sugar, salt, 
150 grams or 5 ounces of cold diced butter. And for the classic scones, 100 grams or 3 ounces of resins pickled in rum and 150 milliliters of buttermilk. And for the lavender scones for Bobby, 1 teaspoon of dried lavender flowers mixed with 150 milliliters of buttermilk. As in England, we have also clotted cream and jam. Clotted cream is a very fatty cooked cream. You can find them on the internet, but you can also do it yourself. You can find the recipe for this in the info box under the video. And for all who follow a purely plant-based diet, I also have a great recipe for vegan scones and a clotted cream substitute in the info box below. First, I mix up all of the dry ingredients. I sift the flour and the baking powder so that we get some air into the dough. Then I add sugar and the butter and mix everything into an even dough. I have nearly forgotten the salt. Since I want to make two variations today, I now divide the dough in half. I make a hollow in the dough and add the raisins. I add some buttermilk and mix it all up again. Our first dough is ready. For variant 2, I now add the lavender milk. I mix everything well so that we get an even dough. You may have to add some more flour or some more buttermilk. You will see that when you need. The dough is perfect when it's roughly this consistency. The dough was in the fridge for 30 minutes. Now it can be processed much better. I put some flour on the work surface and now flatten the dough so that it's about one inch thick. In England, scones are not just food. They are the elixir of life. They help you when you are in a bad mood and of course when you are in a good mood too. They help you if you question life again or if you are having a conflict with your wife or your husband. They also help if you are upset about the traffic chaos in London or if it rains for days. Only for losing weight. They don't help. They are available in different versions, for example with blueberries, with rhubarb or hearty with chives and feta. To cut out, you can use cookie cutters, such as a Mickey Mouse here. Or drinking glasses. The diameter should be about 6 cm or 2.5 inches. Now I brush the scones with a little milk and put them in the oven at 190 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes. And while the scones are in the oven, I will prepare the sandwiches. In England, there is a classic sandwich with egg salad and watercress, which is also served at Harrods. There are also two delicious variants that I developed myself. An avocado cream with tomato and a goat cheese cream with pear and walnuts. For the goat cheese cream, we need goat cheese, walnuts and pears. And some fig jam. For the avocado cream, avocado, chopped tomato, lemon juice and a little salt and pepper. For the egg salad watercress sandwich, We need hard-boiled eggs, mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of butter, paprika powder, watercress, pepper and salt. For the egg salad, I mash the eggs with a fork, add the mayonnaise, mustard and the butter. I 
I season the salad with a little salt and pepper. Mickey, do you know what the English people say when they don't like something? I guess I don't like this, right? Of course you can say that, but if you want to say that you particularly don't like something, the Englishman says, this is not my cup of tea. Or if you particularly like something, that's my cup of tea. This shows how important for the English people their cup of tea is. So anyone can cook with Christian is absolutely my cup of tea. Thank you very much. For the avocado cream, I mash the avocado with a fork and then add lemon juice, tomato, salt and pepper. Last but not least, the goat cheese cream. For this, I took a creamy cheese. I add chopped peas and chopped walnuts. And some pepper. We don't need salt. The cheese is salty enough. Now the goat cheese cream is ready. For English sandwiches, the crust is cut off the toast. Of course I don't throw them away. I will make delicious bread dumplings out of it tomorrow. First I make the egg salad sandwich. For this I give egg salad on one half. Be careful not to put too much salad on the sandwich, otherwise it will be very difficult to eat. I put watercress on top and butter on the other side, so that the cress doesn't fall off the bread. I cut the sandwich into bite-sized pieces to serve. You can either cut the sandwich into thirds, which is a good size, or just cut it diagonally into four pieces. So you can serve and eat them well. I do the same with the avocado sandwich and the goat cheese sandwich. For the goat cheese sandwich, I put fig jam on the other half. The combination of goat cheese, pears, walnuts and fig jam, mmm, yummy. I'm looking forward to eat it. This is my favorite sandwich. The scones are ready now. We can start serving. For this, I decorated the sandwiches with tomatoes, watercress and walnuts. I got tartlets from my favorite bakery and covered strawberries with chocolate. Now the warm scones and the afternoon tea can start. Voila! Bon appétit! Clotted cream or jam? Which comes first on the scone? Scones taste neutral if you eat them without anything. But of course, we don't do that. There we are in the bitter dispute that people of Devon and Cornwall have been fighting for centuries. Whether clotted cream or jam comes first on the scones. I do it like the people of Devon. For me, the clotted cream comes first. But only because it looks better. Both taste equally good. 
beides ganz genauso gut. That's everything for today. And don't forget, if you liked the video, give me a like, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button. See you soon again, your Christian. Mmm. Really delicious.